Amsum was sitting by the window, watching dark clouds gather in the sky. The wind huh? began to howl, and soon drops of water started to fall. Slowly, it converted into a full shower. Huh? Amazed, he wondered, why does it rain? Determined to find out, Amsum flew toward a nearby ocean, where the surface shimmered under the sun. As sunlight warmed the water, Omsum saw something fascinating. Huh? Tiny molecules of water were escaping into the air as vapor. This process was called evaporation. He huh? followed the rising vapor as it climbed higher into the cooler layers of the atmosphere. <laughs> as the air got colder, the vapor began to turn back into liquid droplets, huh? a process called condensation. These droplets gathered together, forming the clouds. Inside, he found a chilly world filled with tiny huh? floating water droplets and invisible water vapor. The air was cool, and Amsum could see millions of tiny droplets bumping into each other, joining together to form larger ones. When the droplets became too large and heavy for the air to hold them, they began to fall back to the ground as rain. Aumsum realized this was part of a continuous cycle. The water that evaporated from the earth always returned through rain, keeping rivers, lakes, and plants alive. Smiling proudly, Aumsum now understood the mystery. Aumsum was playing in a swimming pool when he noticed huh? something unusual. On land, carrying a bucket of water felt heavy. Huh? But when he stepped into the pool, the same bucket felt much lighter. Surprised, Amsum wondered, why do we weigh less in water? Curious, Amsum took a deep breath and dived into the ocean. To test his idea, he picked up a rock from the ocean floor. On land, the rock would have been almost impossible to carry. But underwater, he could lift it with ease. But when Amsum tried to push the rock down, the water pushed it back up. Even his own body felt lighter, almost as if the ocean was holding him in its arms. No matter how much he tried to sink, the water kept lifting him toward the surface. Then Amsum realized what was happening. Water was creating an upward force opposite to his weight. This upward force was buoyancy. It acted on everything placed in water, whether a rock, a bucket, or even his own body. Amsum thought about ships floating on the ocean. Even though they were enormous and heavy, the water pushed up on them with enough force to keep them from sinking. He now had the answer to his puzzle. Amsum was reading his favorite comic when his eyes began to feel dry. Just huh? then he blinked and instantly his vision felt clearer and fresher. He blinked again without even realizing it. Curious, he wondered, why do we blink? <laughs> Determined to find out, Om Sum shrank and entered his own body. He landed near the eyes. The brain had sensed that the eyes were getting dry and it immediately signaled the muscles around the eyelids to move. The soft inside of the eyelid brushed over the eye's surface like a gentle wiper, spreading a thin layer of tears evenly across it. The tears came from small glands at the edge of the eye, called tear glands. As the eyelid lifted again, light returned, and Amsum saw how fresh everything looked. The blinking motion wasn't just cleaning, it was protecting. But that wasn't the only reason the eyes blinked. Amsum noticed that even when the eyes weren't dry, they still blinked regularly. This time, the brain sent automatic signals, <laughs> making the eyelids move without any conscious thought. Blinking helped the eyes stay comfortable and prevented strain, especially <laughs> when focusing for a long time. Also, when something like dust or bright light came near, the blinking happened even faster as a quick defense to protect the eyes. <laughs> Smiling proudly, 
Aum Sum now understood the mystery. <laughs>